So to start off, we'll group this really quick, cause then it'll be consider a model. Group can be found around the middle-ish, it would be near part, color, you get it by now I assume. You can also group with hitting critical and G at the same time. Now that we have it grouped, we'll name it something else so when we do stuff like animate, there won't be a problem. By the way to quickly say, I'm gonna be using Moon Animator to animate, even though this video is about rigging. Rigging basically is making it animate able. We're almost about to rig this model, but first we'll need something to get the joints. I'll be using Rig Edit Light, but I'm pretty sure either Pro or Light will do. Here I have something called Rigging Reminders, they well, remind you. You could just take this and get off the video, but uh, that's your option, I guess. What we are making is the humanoid root part. I would just say use a regular block for this, since this will also help with the primary part business. Plus, it's easy, we'll be naming the part humanoid root part, as said. Move the humanoid root part to the middle of your model. Now, rigging reminder 1, primary part stuff from the left of your screen, or mines technically, we'll name the model really quick. From the properties tab of your model, scroll down till you see primary part. Once you did that, click it, then select the humanoid root part. Rigging reminder 2, anchoring the humanoid root part. All you gotta do is select, then click on the humanoid root part that's in the model, and simple. Rigging reminder 3, the model must not be anchored. Just simply don't anchor it. Rigging reminder 4, reminder to set the humanoid root part joint to the torso. I say this cause sometime I'd forget to do it, for some reason. Now this is technically the final step I think to rigging, it's rigging the model itself. Now, if you haven't already, or like me here, you'll have to name each and every part to its proper role. So if you finished that, should look like this. Now here comes the rigging. It may be a bit confusing but I'll try to explain it. To start off, click on humanoid root part, then hold critical on torso. Then click on create joint. Now explaining this will be simple. Let's use this guy for an example. We'll say this is the humanoid root part. We will be doing some stuff with the torso, such as giving it a joint, or well, the main joint. We will now select it. Now we select the torso while holding the critical button. Now with rig edit, we'll hit create joint. Now you've created a joint. Let's try but with the arm. Just to ensure, click on torso. Critical on arm. Then create joint. Now you can carry on with the rest. Woohoo. Right. Chicken. Hold up. A useful tip. Try turning stuff that would contain a lot of parts, such as hair, into meshes with Blender, or any other mesh-like thingy. Now that it is fully rigable, let's open Moon Animator. Now it's inimitable, woohoo, except for the non-existence legs, I'll add them soon. I guess to end things off, I'll quickly make an animation, I'm not so skilled at it so don't expect some wacky moves. I've constructed a very super duper animation, now I show it, this sure is gonna be embarrassing. Don't worry, she's a woman. Well then, I'll be seeing you guys then. I'ma just roll in some other stuff. Good day to you all. Wahoo.